The debate ignited by a poem of German Nobel Prize winning author Gunther Grass refuses to die down in Germany. In his recent poem, Grass wrote that he feared a nuclear armed Israel could wipe out the Iranian people with a first strike. Many have questioned the motives behind the author's decision to publish his politically charged poem, particularly given the public scandal of a discovery of Grass's wartime service and Hitler's Waffen SS. Others have pointed to the high profile platform which the author sought for his controversial criticism of Israeli foreign policy. German newspapers of all political persuasions, both from the left and the right, have been highly critical of Grass, describing his controversial poem as abominable, irritating, and over the top. Grass did not publish the poem, or what he called a poem, in the web, but in printed paper, in one of the big German printed papers. I think this is a very special case because Mr. Grass a uh, uh, poem, <laughs> Let's, uh, there was nothing to discuss about it. And so I think uh, the media in Germany, in, in the biggest part, have one opinion about it. And that's the opinion that is no way to deal with this subject. I think that the media is reporting fair, yeah. And uh, I see that they realize that uh, the guy was just not well enough informed. He actually wrote things that are not correct. And if you see the German media, there was nearly none who uh, said Mr. Grass is right, or he did it in a good way, or he said some good things. Grass's poem has certainly succeeded in pushing the German author into the spotlight. And this is true not only in his native Germany, but throughout the international press, which is always ready and eager to explore the troubled German-Jewish relationship from new angles. But even Americans, International Herald Tribune, Le Monde, Le Figaro, I, I suppose in Spain it's the same thing, talk about a poem by Gunther Grass. It is as if he had won a second Nobel Prize. Uh, I mean, that's certainly one of the motives, so uh, very few people would confess that uh, catching the attention of a greater public and even the world is one of the mobiles that he has uh, with his poem. In, in, in many ways, uh, I think that he actually writes uh, public opinion, you know, and uh, because the uh, German public is, is always rather critical with Israeli matters and with Jewish matters, yeah? I think uh, a lot of people have to choose their words well because it's a very difficult uh, ground on which you w walk, but because of our history. Günter Grass, uh, well, he's not an anti-Semit in, in, in an openly uh, uh, disgusting way. But uh, you, you know, this generation of the Grasses and even younger generations, of course, we have been living with uh, 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 underlying, with, with stereotypes. Following the initial uproar caused by the publication of his poem, Kras has used a later newspaper interview to say that looking back, he would have phrased his poem differently. However, the former SS soldier turned Nobel laureate also confirmed that he has no plans to apologize. This is Wilson Ruiz for Jewish News One in Germany.